guys, this is Mag from the Rainforest Exhibit. And today's vlog is going to be about something that I've been seeing on a uh, line a lot. And uh, it is uh, more in videos, but also a lot more probably in the comment sections to a lot of videos that show how to, how to produce fruit flies. And what the subject is, is taking this and cleaning it so that you can keep reusing them instead of throwing them out. And uh, I do admit that at the beginning, I was uh, making them and throwing them out, and I always felt guilty about that. And so I decided to start uh, cleaning them and seeing what the big deal is about just reusing them. They're plastic. They're not going to... Obviously, if they have a hole in it or something and there's going to be a leak or something, maybe you have to chuck it. But most of them aren't that way, and if you're careful, they won't break. But um, so... Uh, I wanted to make this video and show you how I clean these and how I can reuse them, even the lid that gets really gunked up. Uh, so that's what this video is about. As I said, what I'm going to be doing is cleaning a used fruit fly media container. Uh, you can tell by this, uh, this was a Heidi Eye uh, fruit fly container that I used uh, back in January. The top is all gunked up. The Excelsior is all destroyed. There's some, still some good media on the bottom, but it, it basically it's dead. So I'm going to be taking this and cleaning it so that we can reuse it instead of adding to the uh, garbage haul of the week. And uh, also it'll save you a little bit of cash too, so you're not, you're still not, uh, you're not buying these and just chucking them out. I will say in the 90s, late 90s, when, when I was doing this, um, we used to use mason jars. And mason jars we cleaned, we didn't just throw them out. So uh, it, it's actually, after I'm done with these, I might start using mason jars again uh, instead of using these. And if I do, I'll, I'll put a, a video on here how to use the mason jars and uh, what to cover it with and all that. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna use these uh, plastic containers and I'm going to clean it and then show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so what I usually do is I take the old media that's in here and I'll put it like I'll dig a hole outside where I usually put the dog waste and bury it. It's just the soil just, you know, turns into compost. And I'll usually put it in that hole. I'll just dump it all out and it'll disintegrate or uh, dissolve on its own. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to put this on a paper towel so you can see it, and uh, and then I'll just uh, put it. In, I'll throw it out in the hole after I do that. But just so that you can see what I do and how gross it is. But anyways, um, also what I do is um, when I'm done uh, emptying as much as I can get out, uh, I might sometimes I'll, I'll uh, you know I'll shake it, I wipe it out with something like a paper towel or something, and that can go in the hole too. It's just paper. But uh, I, I get it as clean as I can, and then I'll put really, really hot water in it and let it sit for about 10, 5, 10 minutes. And what that does, it, it dissolves all the, all the uh, pupa and the, uh, you know, all the mess uh, that's on here, the old uh, fruit fly media um, garbage, whatever, potato or whatever they use in here. Anyway, so here we go. First, I open it. I already checked. There's no, no fl flies in it. And I'll just put it upside down and tap it, and it makes a total disgusting mess. It's so gross. And it smells really bad. That, I think, is why everybody, nobody wants to do this. But uh, here, once I get that like that, I usually just rinse it out with water. But for this video, I'll just put a paper towel in there and scrape it out as much as I can get out. Uh, I use a stick because I don't want to freaking touch it. It's really... Anyway, so I'll just run that in there. And that's as good as it's going to get up to here. And let me tell you, I'm telling you right now, I want you to imagine what this smells like. And yes, that's what it smells like. Anyway, and here's the lid. You can see that's also really caked on. I've seen worse, but this is, uh, this can still be used again. So now I'll just take this and I'll wrap it up and I'll either throw it, uh, I'll throw it in the hole. What I use, you guys do whatever you're going to do. And, uh, and then we'll, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, 
so now that I have it all out, I'm going to take some hot water that I have on standby and I'm going to pour the hot water in it. And yeah, it's a mess. I usually do this on the floor, but since I'm making the video, I'm going to just show you what it looks like. And then that'll sit for about uh, five or ten minutes. And, uh, and we'll be back. Shut up! Will you shut up? Oh, now we see the violence inherent in the system. Shut up! Oh, come and see the violence inherent in the system! Help, help! I'm being repressed, bloody peasant! All right, so it has been about 10 minutes, and I'm going to take the... Now, I'm making a mess on this. This is an old outside table, so don't worry about it. Usually, I would do this in the lawn or in the dirt, but I want you to see it. So I would just take this stick and just stir it around. Just an old, dirty bamboo stick that I use out here. And just stir all that hot water around. Then I'll just take this and dump it in the soil. And you can already see it's much better. And I'll take uh, some more hot water. Hold on. Yeah, I'm making a mess. Sorry. Right. You see, I just scrape all the using the stick, just use a wooden stick and just throw it away out in the yard or in the woods or use a, maybe a, a piece of plastic, just wash it and keep it every time you do it. Then all the rest comes off, you see it like that? Dump that in the woods, in the grass. And a little more. <laughs> I know it's a mess, right? Like I said, I usually do this in the, in the grass or in, uh, out in the uh, in the backwoods there. But for the camera purpose and the light, I figured I'd just do it on this table. But you get the idea. And you just keep working it until it's clean. There's a few more on there, but I'll knock those off, no problem. All right, guys, so there it is. It's pretty darn spotless. And with that hot water, it doesn't even smell like it. It just smells like hot water. Now, the only other issue I have is that lid. But I'm going to show you how I do that in a second. And, uh, well, you could do two things. You could use a garden hose, or you can use the shower, just clean out the shower when you're done. But I get all that, see all the little brown uh, old cases, the fruit fight uh, larva cases. There's a larva pupa, one of those. Anyway, and... Uh, I'll clean those off first, and then I'll, if I do it inside, if not, I'll just do it in the hose outside. But you'll see in a second. I'll just sit this in the hot water for about 10 minutes. Uh, also, now if you have a bunch, you can just put them all there in, in the hot water and let it soak. And it makes it easier. But I, just for the sake of this video, I'm only doing one just to show you, because I basically already did this the other day. And I just thought of making this video now. So anyway, so I'll let this sit in hot water for about 10 minutes. Uh, and then I'll show you uh, what I do next. So the lid's been sitting in the hot water for about 10 minutes and you can already see it's already pretty darn clean. Uh, I'll show you what I usually do. You can either hit it with a hot a shower head, like if you have the shower heads that come on, have the hose on it, or a garden hose, if it's cold, the pressure will do it. You don't want to hit it too hard because you don't want to tear the, uh, the uh, cloth off of the lid. But I'm going to show you what I do with the... Here we're back. I have the lid. And I just took it out of the hot water. And I, usually what I'll do is I'll put it in the shower, uh, use the wand, or I'll put the garden hose on it. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the sprayer that I have so you can see it and it's outside clearly. But I'll just go right over the top of it. You see that? And just hit it real quick. Maybe I'll do it outside of the holes without poking a hole in it. And there it is. Look at that. Clean enough to use again. Well, I started this video a little bit earlier. I got carried away and uh, it's starting to get dark out here in uh, North Carolina. You can tell by the, uh, if you're quiet, 
can hear that stream down at the bottom of the hill there. Uh, we've had pretty heavy rain and uh, it always you can always hear the running water when uh, when it doesn't rain so much is very quiet. You can still hear a little bit, but I always love the sound of it when after it rains after a long a long period of time. Anyway, so here it is. This is the one I just cleaned. You can tell it's the same one. Uh, like I said, I sprayed the top of the lid, and uh, so now you could uh, use it. It's not gunked up with all that garbage from the fruit flies. And this is. It just smells like uh, nothing. <laughs> you don't even smell anything. Uh, I always check to make sure there's no holes. And uh, and this one's uh, good shape. So instead of going out and buying new ones, you just clean these off. You saw it's not really hard at all. And you could reuse it. Now, um, I think I might start going to mason jars. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, if I do, I'll uh, maybe I'll post a video how you do it. It's the same thing as using these. But the cloth on the top might be a little different. You know, they have those lids with the, uh, since it's for canning, it has little lids that the top uh, comes off. It has a little air gap, I think. Uh, but uh, you can take, uh, you can put cloth over the top of it and it keeps the fruit flies just like this type of stuff. And uh, you can use a mason jar and then it's the same thing. You would use hot water. Be careful it doesn't break and I go really hot water but uh you can always clean them and uh reuse them so the same thing you can do with these plastic ones I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you give it a shot and uh save throwing these out they're actually you can do it a lot of times as long as they don't break and uh you save a little bit of money and you save uh from throwing stuff in the trash and uh yes it's a little gross maybe wear some gloves or something if it's gross it doesn't bother me just wash your hands after you're done Anyways, uh, it's been great talking to you guys. Uh, stay safe out there. I know times are a little rough for people, and uh, with hope and some faith, I think that we'll get through this together. Uh, if everybody's kind and uh, helps each other out, uh, we should be all right. So talk to you next time. What do you Oh my god. Oh shit. Wait, that's what's cursed. No, he said shoot. Uh, how'd you take this from the zoo? Oh my god. He made this. No, I had a company make it. I had to take that back door off. That whole door had to come off oh to get it in here. I'll show you all the pictures. And did you see he lifted he lifted this up by himself? Are you no, no, no. I had to stand. He did, he did it like the Egyptians did it. Whoa. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Yeah. No, like this. Dun, 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 I know. Dun, dun, yeah. I saw it. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's the only way we could do it. Yeah, I know, because I was actually flying to try to come down here and help you. Really? Yeah, but then oh. you figured it out. Yeah, uh, it was so, terrible. Oh, God. Did you see the frog right there? No, wait. Right there? Oh, wow, they're huge. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, look at that alligator. Alligator? Yeah.